here's where it's leaking from. Look, I don't know if you can see. Okay, watch. It took a minute to find all my junk. This is our first. This is our first uh, tire issue. Yeah. But <clears throat> so we were driving. We're actually was it 380 something mile trip. And we're 15 minutes from home. We're like 360 miles into it. Yeah. So we're just almost there. Can't quite uh, make it. Yeah, I just thought it was safer just to go ahead and take it off, put the spare on, um, instead of risking being in Albuquerque traffic. And. Uh, on the side of the road then so i'd rather uh change it here people yeah. look at me here instead of being on the road and bunch or of risk driving by. major rv damage or the blowout right or you know yeah because it did say it was getting hotter so uh, luckily that's why we bought these tire sensors while i'm driving the alarm went off so i was like so i told actually natalie i told her to pull up next to me check it out see if she can you know anything was obvious I couldn't see anything, but she I'm not. Anything, but, I'm not great uh, with this. That kind doesn't of stuff. mean anything. So I pulled off, check it out. And as I was walking by, talked to her, and uh, I can hear it. I can hear it hissing. Hissing. Yeah. So. Oh well, we knew it was going to happen. Yeah. It was a matter of if we. It was. Um, we were kind of due yeah. because. I need to find a bit for my drill. It happens to everybody. And this works great. And started, this is way lucky. Way lucky, really, in comparison to what happened to most people. Some people, people yeah. Well, um, our, our neighbors, where we're at right now, they had a blowout. They came back the week before we left, and yeah. they had had a blowout. So, damaged their RV. Not too badly, but yeah. still. Tire iron, my four ways somewhere. I can't find it. Which reminds me, I need to put things in better places so I can remember where everything is. I thought it was still. Um, I thought it was in the front. It might be. And don't we all have four ways? Didn't we get we one do. for every vehicle? Do you want me to go get mine? Yeah, maybe you can get to it quickly. Okay. So they're they are the same, but they're not the same. So you can tell. It's got a different rim, but. So not a pretty rim. Huh? Not a pretty rim. Yeah, right. It's obviously a spare. Yeah. So I guess we're gonna see if they make it on our wheel and tire protection, huh? Yeah, I guess so. I forgot about that. Who, who, who is it? It's Protective. Protective. They're gonna be kicked off. We just did the oven and now we got a tire. Yeah, it's from the stem. I mean, it's not, uh, uh, so it's not like, uh, we got video proving it's from the stem. Uh, I'm sure my tires don't roll down the freaking, <laughs> see me chasing go across the uh, traffic. Yeah. All right. That would be cute, would it? <laughs> So the TPMS that we have is a, is a TST, I get, we got it on Amazon, um, and it's also got a, like a pass-through um, flow sensor or valve, um, that way I can air it up without having to disconnect the sensor and all this stuff, and I can show you that. Um, but this is it right now, I'll, I'll go ahead and uh, show it to you. If you can see it, it's going through the tires, I don't know if you can see it or not. Um, so if you look at it, this is the truck part and this is the RV part and these are your tires and it's going to go, it's going to cycle through each tire. Tell me the PSI and I'm, 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 ne I'm sitting next to the, uh, the RV right now and it'll tell me the temperature of the tire. And what happened was we were driving and normally when I'm driving after, especially I've been driving for a while, my PSI is usually around 84 four or so 85 that's after it's warmed up um and for my tire in particular uh the cold max is 80 psi 
So what happened was 84 PSI when I, for most of the trip, and then all of a sudden it dropped to 71. Um, and so Natalie follows behind me, and I tell her, I called her, and I was like, pull up next to um, the RV on the passenger side just to see if there's anything visibly happening that uh, to the tire. And she pulled up and said nothing's wrong or she could, that she could tell. And I said, oh, okay, well, we were about 20 miles from our campsite. And I look back over at my um, TPMS and it's saying, now it's at 61, 65, something like that. And I was like, ah, I better pull off because if not, I'm in traffic and I'm having to change it in traffic, which is a little bit more dangerous. So pulled off, found out it was a valve stem and it was just leaking. So went and got it fixed, discount tires, changed the valve stem for free. So um, it made it worth it um, just because it could have been a lot worse. Um, you let it go low for a long time, heat up, it blows or something like that. Then your RV or your fifth wheel or whatever you're towing can really become damaged um, pretty badly. So, I mean, it's a, I want to say it's like a $350 uh, tire pressure monitoring system. Um, that ends up saving you a ton if, you know, it's like, kind of like insurance, you know, it ends up saving you a ton. So anyway, I hope that helps. All right, so now I'm gonna show you the um, the monitor that's on the tire. I'll show you on the spare tire. You may have been noticing that um, on the, uh, uh, my monitor that I was just showing you, one of them's kind of low, it's like 60 something. as a spare tire, sorry. Um, but um, here it is, I'm gonna show it to you. It's, um, it's right here. That's the sensor. What I meant by the, um, the pass through, I may be calling it wrong. It may, it may not be passed through. It may be something else. But all I know is I don't have to disconnect the sensor in order to tear it up. Is that three minutes? Natalie told me two minutes. I ramble. I'm a rambler. <laughs>